This video is going to show you how you can quickly and easily change the DNS server on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. It's also going to show you how you can find the fastest DNS server that is available to you and switch to it with ease. If you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hold tight. More details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this video shows you how you can change your DNS server on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. Now, why would you want to do that? Or well, if your internet service provider's DNS isn't working too well, mine had a problem a little while ago. So I changed it. I changed the DNS server. Now, other reasons for it, it could be that if, like I say, you've got problems with your internet provider's DNS server, it could be running slow, which means websites could be taking a long time to be found and come up on the screen. A lot of people say it improves your internet speed all over, but I can't see how. It's not going to make a very slow internet connection very fast. At the end of the day, the DNS server's job is really to convert those numbers, the IP address, into the web address you see, like for instance, it converts say www.google.co.uk into Google's IP address. So it knows where to find it on the internet. So that little bit of conversion is going to be the thing that's going to be speeded up. And generally, most DNS servers are quite quick anyway. There's other reasons you might want to change your DNS server. It might be that your internet providers blocking certain websites or maybe having trouble getting to certain websites because of a fault with a DNS. Or it could be that they've purposely blocked access to websites. It might be that you want to reduce adverts. It might be that you want to block malicious websites. Some DNS servers will allow you to filter out or they'll filter out automatically malicious websites. It could be that, like I say, your internet service provider has blocked certain content, so it may unblock that content. It doesn't act like a VPN. It will not protect your privacy in that sort of way. It won't hide your IP address, but as I say, it will help in many factors. Now, after saying all that, let's just show you the manual way of doing this. So all you do is you just click on the start button, you type in control. By the way, there is a, an easier way I'm going to show you in a moment. After a few seconds, under best match, you should see control panel. Click on that. And if you've got a screen like this, you're all set to go. If your screen is like this, then click on the word category in the top right and then click on large icons and then go down and find network and sharing center. Click on that. And then you want to go to change adapter settings and click on that. Now you need to find your network interface. It is probably one without a cross beside it. So I'm on Wi-Fi at the moment. So there you go. Mine's Wi-Fi. So move your mouse over your internet connection. Click on the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, not the left. Go down to properties and left click. And then you want to find internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4. Double click on that. And there we go down the bottom there. You have got a section here for DNS. Now, probably as standard, it's set to obtain DNS server address automatically, which means it's going to go to your probably your Internet provider's IP address or Internet provider's sorry, DNS server or the DNS server that's set in your router. So let's just try changing it to a different one. So let's just click on use the following DNS server address. And in here, say if I want to go to Google, so Google's DNS server is 8.8.8.8. OK, and we need to enter an alternative DNS server. This is just in case that server goes down. We don't want to lose connection to the Internet. So I can type in Google's alternative server, which is 8.8.8. .8 .8. 4.4 or if you want you can even type in a different DNS server so if the whole of Google goes down for any reason so I'm going to type in say Cloudflare's DNS server as a secondary so that's 1.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1. okay so it means if I say Google 
goes under or goes down for any reason, then uh, we've got an alternative there. It should switch to automatically. So click on OK and then click on OK again. And there we go. We can close this lot down and we're now using Google's DNS server. And when we're going from web page to web page or server to server, then it might be quicker than our internet provider's own DNS server. What if you want to change that back? Well, all you do is just click on the start button and type on your keyboard the word control and then under best match control panel should appear. Left click once on that. Click on network and sharing center and then click on change adapter settings. Click right click on Wi-Fi or your actual internet connection. Click on properties and then go to Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IPv4, double click that and just click on the box or the circle that says obtain DNS server address automatically and then click on OK. Now, and then click on OK again and then click on the cross just there. Now, what if you want to speed up this process? What if you, you think to yourself, oh, I'd rather not meddle with that yourself or you want to check to see what other DNS servers are available or you want to find the fastest DNS server? Then this guide, like I say, is also going to show you how to do that. So what we need to do is we need to open up our browser and uh, I've opened up Microsoft Edge. Go up to the address bar right at the top of the screen, click in it and delete out anything that might be in there. And then just type on there, sordum.org. That's sordum.org, all in lowercase and no spaces. Once you've done that, press enter or return on your keyboard. And if you've typed in the address correctly, then you should see this screen. So click on do not consent there. So the cookie notice you can if you want and then just on the right there just look for dns jumper move your mouse over it left click once and then we want to scroll down to the bottom of this page or near the bottom we want to find the word download there we go just there that plain box there with download in it left click once on that hopefully this should start downloading hopefully you should see in the top right hand corner in a few seconds there you go it start downloading but if it doesn't scroll down the screen and click on direct download okay so once it's downloaded we need to to open it so click on the cross in the top right hand corner to close down your browser click on any yellow folder just to open up explorer click on downloads that's over there on the left or it might be up there on the top doesn't matter which one you click on then right click on DNS jumper and then left click on extract all. Click on extract just down there. Double click on DNS jumper there. Double click on DNS jumper with the green and yellow icon to the left of it. The screen might darken and it might say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click on yes and this will now load. So here we go. So we've got a few options here. We can select our DNS server from a list here. If I wanted to say reduce the number of adverts on the screen, I could select AdGuard. If I wanted to use Google's DNS servers, I could click on that there, open DNS, there's loads in here. So if I wanna select the fastest DNS server, just click on fastest DNS, click on start DNS test, and there you go, it will go through and it will do a test and it will tell you which ones are the fastest and which ones are just currently not working at the moment. So as you can see there, we've got a couple of reds. That means that uh, they were very, very slow. And uh, there was some there which couldn't be accessed at all where it's got error access. So as you can see here, it sorted them into fastest. And uh, it looks like, obviously the lower the, the lower the number the better it looks like for me really there us sprint link is the fastest that got nine milliseconds on result one and 12 milliseconds on result two so i just left click on it and then click on apply dns and there we go let's just close this down and that should have now connected to there you go us sprint link but i'm just going to click on apply dns just to make sure it's applied now i've currently got notifications switched off i've got the do not disturb switched on at the moment but normally with do not disturb switched off i will just show you this let's turn do not disturb off and we connect to a dns server let's just connect to another one so norton dns 
click on apply DNS, have a look in the bottom right hand corner. There you go. It says DNS jumper, DNS successfully changed. So that just proves that it has connected. So let's just go back to fastest DNS again. OK, do a test, let that run through and uh, just see what DNS servers are coming up as the best now. Now, these could change from time to time. And once it's gone through and checked them all, it will then, like I say, as before, set, sort the list into order of best result. And that's the first result. So this time, <laughs> there you go, US level 3D is the uh, the fastest. So let's click on that, click on apply DNS. And there you go. We've got confirmation there that DNS has successfully changed. So let's just come out of that. And as you can see here, yeah, we've, we've connected to US level 3D. What if I wanted to reduce the number of adverts? So let's just go to say msn.co.uk. I'm just going to accept the uh, cookie notice there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the DNS back to default. So let's just go to the top there to default DNS and then apply DNS. That's been successfully changed. And let's just refresh this page. We will get, there you go. We're getting a bigger, bolder advert there. So if I try changing the DNS back to, say for instance, something like, um, the AdGuard DNS. So let's just do that. Where was it? There we go. It's just down there. Click on apply DNS. Confirm. There you go. It's changed. And then let's just go back to MSN and let's just refresh the page. And as you will see here, there you go. We still got adverts, but we've got less intrusive adverts, adverts that are perhaps not as large or as memory intense as the other adverts. The other adverts seem to be a bit more graphical and had animation in it, which always slows a computer down. So what if we want to get rid of this? So all we're going to do is I'm just going to click on this drop down here and click on default DNS to set our DNS back to the default. Click on apply. Let that change. Click on the cross just up there. Click on the cross just up there to close the browser down. And let's just, I'm just going to close all this down and then we're going to go back. So I'm going to click on a yellow folder here, go into downloads, and I'm just going to delete the two DNS jumper yellow folders. One's got a zip through it, one hasn't. So let's just right click on the first one. If you're running Windows 11, click on the bin. If you're running Windows 10, click on delete and do the same for the other one, DNS jumper. So right click on it. If you're running Windows 11, click on the bin. If you're running Windows 10, then click on delete just down there. And there you go, that's gone. So that guide showed you how you can change your DNS server with the click of a mouse on Windows 10 and Windows 11. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please help support this channel. If you're looking for a VPN or a Fire Stick or Fire Stick accessories, we've got some great deals in the links below. And buying and subscribing through these links really does help support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time to research and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos right here, right now on this channel, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, maybe even save you some more time and money.